the mushrooms were the best part. The mushrooms were seasoned. Baby, are we recording? Yeah. Okay. Hey, what's up, kitty cats? This is Amir. This is Diana. And you're watching Vegan Twosome. Welcome back to our channel. If this is your first time here and you're interested in vegan food and all other vegan things, you're in the right place, baby. Sit back, grab yourself some noodles, and enjoy this episode. We have new episodes every Sunday. But that boom! Let's get into it. We're here in the beautiful Seattle and we are doing a bunch of reviews. But today we're at Babar Green. What's this place all about? Babar Green has a vegan menu and a vegan section where their kitchen is completely vegan. And they also have another section that's not vegan. So it's just a regular menu. So it's interesting. I guess the idea is if you're vegan, you have a place to dine. If you're not vegan, you also have a place. The fact that it has a separate kitchen is amazing. It gives you a peace of mind. You know there is no cross-contamination. You know everything's gonna be vegan. And that is amazing for us. Location, what's the place like? This place is located in South Lake Union, which is very close to downtown Seattle. It's near the water. There are a lot of other small independent restaurants in this area. And it's also an area where there are a lot of offices. Whenever we come here and it's a weekday, you see a lot of office workers. When you go into the entrance, the Babar Green section has their own little takeout counter, which is also really cool. I bet a lot of people who work there probably do takeout, and it's specifically for the vegan menu. And then you go in, and then you have the restaurant area where you can dine in, and they have a little patio outside as well. We've done it again. Just BS, 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 talk, 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 talk. Nobody cares. They care about food. I got the lemongrass tofu with Singapore noodles. And I got the sweet potato curry laksa. Let's start with the lemongrass tofu with Singapore noodle. I wanted to stop the noodles for rice because I prefer rice. But Diana was like, no idiot. The noodles are a big part of the dish. I was like, yo, okay, chill. I get the noodles. The noodles were really good. The whole dish was actually really good. Nicely flavored, nicely seasoned. The mushrooms were the best part. These mushrooms were seasoned, I don't know how, with what, if they were marinated, but they were absolutely delicious. I like the dish as a whole, what do you think? Amir's dish is actually on their featured menu, so it's not gonna be on there all the time. If you're in Seattle and you wanna try it, go do it now. The noodles were mung bean noodles, and if you haven't had them before, it has a chewiness, and it's clear, and it really absorbs the flavor. I think that's what made the noodles extra good, and there was a little wedge of lime, and I felt like that really came through in the flavor of the noodles. It added a little bit of sourness. It was a really good dish. I enjoyed it. One, One two, two, three. Oh, I'm gonna do five as well. Before we talk about the sweet potato laksa, let's talk about subscribing to this channel. If you like vegan content, we're the best at it, baby. You're still here, aren't you? So press that subscribe button. Give it a thumbs up. And ring that bell so you won't miss any episodes. We're trying to get to that 5 million subscriber point. You just keep on making <laughs> these numbers up. And we're nowhere near it. I got the sweet potato laksa curry. I really like laksa. It's been a while since I've had a version that's vegan that I can have. The broth for me was the best part. The part that wasn't the greatest was the thick rice noodles that they used. I find this kind of noodle doesn't absorb the flavor of the broth very much, so it tastes kind of plain and bland. The ingredients were a little bit sparse in that really there were tofu puffs and a little bit of green vegetables and some bean curd, but that was pretty much it. Overall, I like the dish because it's a noodle dish, it's a soup noodle dish, 
and I really like the wrap. What did you think? I agree with you with a lot of the aspects of what you said. The noodles were whatever, didn't love them. The broth was really good, really tasty, flavors were amazing. The lime on this dish actually helped quite a bit too. Uh, what you said about the lacking ingredients, I think was consistent with both dishes. I think both dishes could have had more ingredients, as a matter of fact. But overall, really delicious. Don't, don't mind it at all. One, One two, two three. three. I like yours better because I actually thought it had more ingredients than mine. Hardly though. Mine was, like it had quantity, but the variety wasn't great. Oh, I see. Yeah, you're right. You're right. So you could, have, you could have used some carrots in there. I think some broccoli would have been sure, good in there. Sure, yeah. But does that dish have those ingredients? Maybe it doesn't. <laughs> Anyways, that's what we think. You guys go try that yourself. And as always, make sure to let us know what you think in the comments. Yo, D-Dog, what's good? Listen, will you go back to Bar Bar Green and dine again? I would. It really is a place that has so many different vegan dishes and I feel safe eating there because they have a separate vegan kitchen and they know what vegans can have and they obviously have different features going on at different times. So yes, I would. Yes, I would absolutely go back to you. The place was nice, the food was really good. The staff were nice and friendly and very knowledgeable about the vegan menu. So yes, I would absolutely go back and you should too. Take a look at this other Seattle vegan restaurant we visited. We love Seattle and we love trying all the different vegan restaurants, but did we enjoy this one? You'll have to watch to find out. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. Thank you.